All right, so now we've heard from a number of you that you tried out for your middle school team, and some of you didn't make it. Now, some of our, some of our favorite players we've ever had in our Y Challenge program didn't make their middle school teams. Sir, didn't make them first time around or whatever. And we actually feel like there are some things you can take advantage of while you're not on that team that will actually help you become a better player. But here's the lesson that this is gonna force you to learn. Not making your middle school team is gonna force you to learn you're responsible for the player that you become. It's up to you to go get better. Now just being on that team, it's, it's mostly fun and interesting. But it doesn't automatically make you better. So you're not at a huge disadvantage. So what's next is, when you don't make the team is get over it, relax. All kinds of good people haven't made teams. All kinds of good people. Sure. And, and plenty of people who do make the middle school teams, they're not even there on the high school team. Sure. I mean, that happens. I can name names. Well, there's, a, there's a lot to be decided after uh, uh, yes. uh, middle yes. school. During after the middle, middle school, school years and after middle school, there's a lot to be decided because there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. That's the right. Players that get busy doing that work, whether they've made the team or whether they haven't made that team, those players that are getting that get busy focusing on their individual improvement are the ones that will see success down the line. Yeah, and so the categories are you gotta go find a place to work on your ball handling, even if you think you're really good. Right? You gotta Absolutely. go find a place where you can concentrate on getting better, not concentrate on scoring or winning. Yep. Better shooting, then better in kind of offensive or defensive flow of the game. Yep. Those are three categories you've got to go get better at. Yep. Decision making. Yes. Decision -making. Oh man. I, I think uh, that's one of the areas there are a lot of opportunities for young players to be able to get shots, for young players to be able to play games. Yes. AAU and all these different programs that are out there. But finding a program where you can focus on not only skill, but the decision-making process. Decision-making can be developed through play opportunity, but it also can be taught. Yes, yes, and, yes, and, yes. And we're blessed to say that one of our programs actually focuses on decision-making, the right. challenge program. Our challenge league is tailored to help young players make correct decisions. Yes. Coaches need players that know what to do when the play works. Yes, yeah, so that's something you can go work on. That's something and we're not talking about yep. when the play breaks down, you just 27 crossovers and a step back. <laughs> we're talking about how your movement affects play, sure. reading the defense and attacking and all of that sort how of How to be a good teammate, what decisions that you can make to help someone else get open, to help yourself get open. So there are a lot of different options that are out there, but, but uh, I, Coach Jay just hit it, I mean, this is a, a grand opportunity. It, and look, life is about how you look at the things that happen to you. Yes. You can, you can. Uh, so you didn't make the team, so what now? So what now? Does that end your world? That's right. What we would encourage everyone to do is look at it from a positive perspective. I have a lot of time on my hands. I have coaches that care about me. And I, I have some programming that's geared to focus on my individual improvement. Yes. Whether it be ball handling, whether yeah. it be shooting, Shooting. whether it be decision making through the challenge program, whether it be focused play opportunity through our team challenge. That's right. So we have a lot of things that are tailor made to help you develop as a young player. This could sound like commercial, but the idea is that we try to design our programs to fit into those spaces. That's right. That's the idea. That's the idea. So our program should reflect what we think matters. You know, some play opportunity matters some. Yep. You know, shooting matters and ball handling matters, decision making matters. All of those matters. All of those matter. But above all of that, the thing that matters most is you owning the responsibility for the kind of player you're going to become. Absolutely. It's not about your team makes you a good player or not or whatever. Don't just go hop on an AAU team and say that makes you a better player. It may or may not. It may. It may, it may not. It may not. But, if, but whatever teams you're on, it's got to be about, I'm responsible for the player I become, I'm going to go get better. And I'm going to learn how to think better and even work harder in the environments I do get a chance to be in. Well said.